Hi, and welcome back to the workshop. Um, just a short video today, really. Uh, just going to have a, a good play with uh, with Paxton Road and talk about uh, some of the things that uh, I've been working on with it, some of the things I've been enjoying about it. And um, yeah, hopefully just show you how mindful and relaxing it can be just to sit back and, uh, and take some time, um, I suppose, away from the actual bench. Uh, and just getting lost in uh, in something you created. Uh, it's been a busy week here. I've been working pretty much non-stop on the new book, which is both exciting, but also um, requires a lot of thought and energy and personal sort of, um, it's not quite the same as making things with your hands, but it's, it's from you. It, it takes that creative energy out. And I find sometimes in the evening uh, or when I'm finished, it's a chance to get back into things with the layout, um, get lost in the scene, um, and just uh, just breathe again. So uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, uh, hopefully you'll uh, you'll enjoy it. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's move over to the layout. So welcome to Paxton Road. Nothing new to report on the layout as such, but uh, just a chance to watch some trains. What I've noticed is I don't tend to operate the layout with any fixed schedule or plan in place. It's literally just flip the switch, come over, run a train. A chance to get lost, a chance to reset, a chance to mull over what I've been thinking about or try and solve that problem I've got. Um, just enjoy it. One of those quiet moments between trains as the model shuttles in and out, you know, you can really imagine yourself in the yard, hoping that something's going to arrive, hoping there'll be something to see today. There is a slight gradient on this shelf, <laughs> as you sometimes find out. Obviously, I didn't use the spirit level when I put it up. Yeah, so I think uh, it, it works really well with just two sidings. Um, the permanent magnet uncoupling works fine with the, basically the magnets are in little boxes that allow you to slide them out of position. So that works well in the, in the narrow depth of the baseboard. And I think back in the road three is going to work really nicely with that third track down the back the chance to uh, to um, see a train arrive um, before it gets into the you know into the business of uh, of shunting and preparing a train and the two position sector plate I've got here works really well so I think with my revised scheme of a two position sector plate and turnout it it'll work just as well just as um, as nicely um, so it's been really good to to think that through work that through and just spend some time operating this layout and enjoying it um, remembering why I built it in the first place and that's uh, just some headspace you know the whole thing was a joy to build absolute joy to build and I enjoy operating it and it it couldn't really be a better advert for a small model railway in many ways.
and I know many prefer BR Blue. And, you know, I really do enjoy running the uh, Provincial Scottish Liveried uh, 08 I've got as well. But this BR General Grey, dull, mundane, run of the mill, whatever you want to say, you know, really just does scream early 90s to me. Uh, so definitely really, really pleased with this purchase and, and how the weathering's blended it into the uh, into the model. So there you have it, a quick session on Paxton Road, um, reflections on what's worked well, what we've enjoyed, what's coming next. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed the video please do like it, if you've got any thoughts, questions, comments, leave them here and I'll get back to you. Um, and if you haven't done already then uh, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. Speak to you all again soon I hope, thanks.